back to another YouTube video, guys. We're going to be teaching a very modern dog trick this week, which is selfie. Oh, didn't you can go off. Oh. So this one we're going to teach using the lure reward method, nice and easy. At the end, I'm also going to talk to you about a cue transfer that you can do if your dog already knows how to. Odin, chip. Yes. So first off, everyone who's been watching our YouTube videos, pretty familiar with the lure reward process at this stage. You lure reward, you add your cue, you fade your lure. Um, you may have seen like me bringing my hand around to prompt Odin, fading of the lure or moving towards that hand signal, double cue if we want to be technical about it, but that's all right in my books. So starting off with our lure, if you've got a tall dog like I do, it's great. If you don't have a tall dog, you're going to have to do some crunches and lean back. That's just the way that it is. Sorry. We're going to get our treat and we're going to take it over the back of our head and we're going to bring our dog around. Yes. Once they put their chin on our head, on our shoulder, we're gonna mark and reward. Good boy. Odin's learnt this. He knows to hold on for a bit of duration. He's enjoying his little cheese shreds that I've got down in here. I've also trained Odin. When I'm ready, I can say, Odin, off. Good boy. And that one he knows is a concept, you know, off the couch, off the garden, off my shoulder, whatever it is. So we do our little reward five times in a row before we add the cue. I like to say, Odin, selfie. And then we lure around when they make position and get them right on. Yes, we reward. When they're ready, we say off or free or whatever it is that you use. Good dog. Can I kiss? Thank you. So we've lure rewarded. We've added the cue. Said selfie. Brought the hand around. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade my lure. Oh, bye. We have overtrained a little bit today. I'll be real. Hey, so empty hands this time. I'm gonna go, Odin, selfie. Guide him around. Yes, the moment he lands, I mark and I reward, ideally with my opposite hand. So, cool, super easy, lure reward, add the cue, selfie, whatever you want it to be. You fade your lure, good boy. And then when you're ready, you can build a bit of duration. So, Odin, selfie. Prompt, because I'm lazy and I help him out sometimes. I know you're tired, you're really over this. And I always try and film my YouTube videos when you're not really into it. Odin, selfie. Yes. So I gave him one just for landing because he's tired. If I want to start to build duration, I'll get him on and say, Odin, selfie. He lands, I just wait a second. Yes, and then I reward. So we're just kind of holding off for that little split second. So that's really pretty easy, you guys. Nice, great way to get a cute behavior with your dog. Lovely way to take photos with them. Oh, a little note. You know, we do a lot of work with rescue dogs. We do a lot of work with dogs with behavioral issues. I'd just like to point out that if you have a new rescue dog or a dog that you don't have a great relationship with at this stage, this is probably not the trick for you. I wouldn't be putting my face right up in my dog's face if I didn't have a good relationship and we didn't have trust or if I didn't know the dog. You know, dogs 101. Dogs don't like faces in their faces. Um, but if we're working through with a dog that we know, a dog that we trust, a dog that we've got a relationship with, this is a really fun trick. I wouldn't have children under the age of um, 12 or 16 even teaching this. Um, I wouldn't be doing this with a dog that I didn't know. But otherwise, this is a really, yeah, hey, I, this is a really, really fun one that you can work on. The next, yeah, front and center. Boop. The next thing that I talk about for you guys is cue transfer, saying that um, if you already trained your dog to rest their chin on your hand, and I mentioned about how Odin knows off as a concept, I mean, we can talk about the chin rest as a concept, and we can talk about transferring the cue from chin to selfie. The way that we transfer a cue is we'll say the new cue first, nothing will happen, and then we immediately say the old cue. So we'll go, selfie, chin. The dog goes, I know chin, I like treats. They'll come around and they'll get the reinforcement for that. Do you want to show it off? Are you awake enough? Do you touch? You know, you seem like you wanted to do it. So new cue, old cue, the dog does the behavior. Because of the old cue, you reward them. Repeat that cycle a whole bunch of times. When you get to the point where the dog's starting to seem like they understand the relation between the new cue and the old cue, what you do is you ask the question by just waiting off a few seconds. You'll give the new cue, 
and then you just wait and you see what happens. Dogs are like us. They want to get the most reinforcement for the least effort. So your dog should start to put two and two together. They go, she said selfie, then she said chin, and then she put the chin rest prompt here. I wonder if when she says selfie, if I just put my chin there, will she give me a treat faster? They suddenly figure out, they think they've gotten a shortcut to getting their reward, and then you go, bam, I just pulled two tricks out of the price of one. So, Odin's dead to the world now, so I'm going to demonstrate with my invisible dog. We'd go, selfie, chin, the dog does the behavior, we reward. Repeat, until eventually we go, selfie, hopefully the dog does it, we reward, and then we just get to the stage where we just go, selfie. And if the dog doesn't do it after like two, three seconds, then you go, chin, just to remind them. It's kind of like putting the training wheels back on to go down a really steep hill. But over time, you start to see if you can just fade out that second cue and just go selfie. So we've talked about selfie trick. We've talked about cue transfers. I hope that's been fun for you guys. Um, if you're having troubles with your dog in the wet weather, make sure you hit us up because we do have online consultations available. Um, wet weather is no barrier to dog training, although a lot of people do seem to think it's a, um, a summer sport. So make sure that if you are having issues with your dog, if they're getting stir crazy, if they're not wanting to go out for walks because they're made of sugar like my dog is, hit us up. We'll set you up with an enrichment program or a trick training program that you can work on in the comfort and the dry and warmth of your home. With that, we'll say thank you very much. Um, we launched our website this week. We'd love if you guys checked it out, howlingsuccessdogtraining.com. Um, and otherwise, happy training, you guys.